those who don't know how a battery works, we're going to get a very simple, very simple description of what a battery is and how it works, especially lithium ion. So what we've got in a battery, if you go back in your science days, you have two electrodes, right? So you've got an electrode here, this is our anode, and we've got another one over here, our cathode. And then we've got this sea of electrolyte in the middle. And what happens is I'm going to be a lithium ion, right? So just imagine for a moment, okay? So I'm going to be a lithium ion, and what I'm going to do is you are all going to turn on your phones. Um, when you turn on your phones, I suddenly feel a strong desire to swim from the anode over <laughs> to the cathode, okay? And then I stay over here. So that's great. I'm now, I'm now happy. I'm stuck in my cathode. Brilliant. And then what do you go and do? You go and charge your phone up, plug it in, and you force me to swim again. <laughs> this time I'm doing a front crawl, for those who didn't spot it, because it's significantly faster to charge than discharge. That's brilliant if it just worked like that all the time. But the challenge that we have is that we've got another little layer here called the solid electrolyte interface layer. And what this does is this protects the battery. It's really important. But the problem is, as these lithium ions are going to and from, they begin to get stuck in this layer. And the more and more lithium ions get stuck in the layer, the harder it is to charge your battery. And that is why your lithium ion batteries in your phones and in cars only last a short time, okay? So this is a massive problem. They want to increase the lifetime of lithium ion batteries from eight years up to 15 years. We want to remove this capacity fade challenge. 